down today for doing another review on Utah Kata. Now, you know, when you think of this name and you get this picture of you think, oh, Magical Girls Gallery, I have to go lucky, Magical Girl anime. And that was not the case when I watched the series. When I first watched this series, I was taken aback. Because you know how Magical Girls go from happy go lucky to roar? Well, this was the, the medium in between. By medium to I mean there's a lot of drama and psychological. Um, topic I talk about that when I first watched this kind of went over my head I'm not gonna lie when I first watched this I was not expecting what I got because you know the typical magical anime is like oh okay the protagonist goes out for you know leave school has a vacation and try to make friends or do with the typical teenage like romance but this was not the case you know like in summer camps like you always hear these rumors about different girls or like or like stuff happening if you do like this one out like a Bloody Mary or like Charlie Charlie or Freddy Cougar or whatever the case may be. And with this storyline that with this with this series I was not expecting to be blown away the way I, I was necessarily. Um it was very interesting. Um from a typical magical aspect from watching Sailor Moon to Lucky Star not Lucky Star. Sailor Moon to Tokyo Mimu to Madoki Magica, which is a whole, whole other spectrum, which I will review later. But uh, I thought the artwork was pretty. The artwork kind of drew me in. The transformation, and you know, a recycle development of the transformation sequences. But I didn't think that this anime was going to be my first Yuri anime. Yes, you went right, Yuri, which I didn't understand why it was in there i was it was just this appeal to fan service or what does it do but these are these are, these are middle schoolers these are like preaching it's like you know why is this in here but you know as a child preaching child it just kind of went over my head and kind of talked about it because i was kind of hurt because i'm like pre <laughs> you know but um what i didn't think that this that this series or this anime was going to do is like the artwork we're setting the entrails it opening sequence and the ending song was lovely. The characters get to use some work. Like I'm not gonna lie, all these characters could use a lot of work, especially the main character. Who I thought was like, you know, gonna be like every other typical cynical having a lucky protagonist in like any magic girl, but that wasn't the case. And then also with the twists and turns the anime did there wasn't much development for any of these characters, including the side characters now. Mind you, these are just stuff that I thought about, but I don't know. I think it just fell on the plot driven aspect more than it should have been caught maybe been fifth for plot development and character development, but that wasn't the case here. Besides the art being setting, the sound was lovely, and the character development could have used a bit of work. The story wasn't bad, you know, it's, it's typical summer vacation, making friendship, finding love, hopefully, maybe. But you didn't anticipate the drama that came with this series and the psychological themes and dramas and topics and subjects that they touched this series I was not expecting at all. Um, it just took a lot for me to to process as a preteen and then when I rewatched it again as a younger adult, I was like, huh, this is different. This is a lot different than I remember it being and overall it repeating its transformation sequence that was a lot as well. But overall I just found this very this anime that touched on such a very dramatic and highly central theme of team romance and I don't know. I guess where I'm going is that this this anime had like twelve episodes and it was just a lot and I'm just meaning a lot. And you know, Magical World tends to change or the series from being happy go lucky to just straight up gore and you know they talk you know about bullying and you know inside the magic world or like um a lot of like neglect or like which is fine you need to talk about like serious episodes i get that i truly get that but the point case in here warn somebody like warn me like i would have known i would have reconsidered my theories of of watching the series but I'm not saying it's bad I'm just like as a child I thought I just got sucked in because I saw Magic Girl saw the trailer for them, her transforming and I'm like oh it's gonna be a, another good anime that I'm gonna like and I'm gonna enjoy and that was not the case but I thought it was gonna be but you know 
don't know if it'll probably come as how things would be very deceiving, but overall it was a good anime, don't get me wrong, it was very good, I just didn't expect the thing that they were going to cover or touch on that was going to be what I expected, like, it just threw me for a roller coaster ride, I was just here for the ride, basically, like, literally just here for the ride, but, you know, that's just me, you know, I just felt like it was a lot to take in all at once, but the 12 episodes, I feel like, if an anime is going to I would expand, focus more on character. I think now, when I watch anime, I try to feel like see if it is plot driven or character driven. And I feel like this was more plot than character, which I wish they focused more on character. Because like these two characters and the rest of the cast, I wish they were just brought up more, I guess, in a sense. And I just hope that maybe as we continue to evolve what anime, anime has come a long way from its budgeting and its film and its team or to hopefully focus more on the script and it being more both on both ends of the spectrum, more plot and character turn as I hoped it would be and hopefully that will be, be the case and hopefully that magic girl, magic girl the genre itself of magic girl will take a new standpoint on its own but um until then I'll never know for that existence or why, you know, for Magical Girl that it doesn't always have to be that dark tone, but if it can't, sure, some people are in for that dark tone, you aren't expecting it, but you know, a nice, nothing's wrong with the typical standard happy go lucky anime itself, but you know, that thing is just me, maybe I just like more happier endings and less for dark, but here I am, still watching Madoka okay, Magical, still to say, without be entirely different video for a different day, but overall, the content was very interesting, especially for the things that they covered, especially in Speed and First. Your anime, your anime that I remember watching as a child, and do I regret watching? Yes and no. But, uh, I enjoyed it. I, we watched it again. I get why they, they covered the topic that they did without giving too much away for the ending. But overall, I think it was... They pre did the best they, they got during the budget and the time and the episode they considered for this anime. Overall, I think it was good. If it does get rebooted, maybe focus more on plot or more character development to help bring the enemy along and maybe have more than just 12 episodes to it but that's just my t general opinion but I think why it's different from other Magical Girl series and the Madoka Magical scene as a whole it's not as gruesome and dark and you don't want to chuck a certain character into the sun and I think if you guys know what I mean by that but overall I think it was a more subdued Master Girl anime than, than most of them that have come after it in a sense but hopefully you enjoyed my review for this uh, anime I'll see you tomorrow for another dun dun anime review and I'll see you next time bye bye